You're watching your News Channel 3 at 5. Two Hampton Roads women are beginning a long and emotional journey tonight. Tom, they're sisters, and they are hitting the road so that one of them can help save the other's life. And News Channel 3's Health Watch reporter Cynthia Brooks joins us now to explain. It sounds like a wonderful it story. It is. Barbara and Tom, this is a story about stem cell research and sisterly love. Now, the two are headed to Maryland for an experimental treatment. They are praying that the healthy stem cells in one of them will save the other, who's been battling breast cancer, or cancer rather, for 10 years. Ninety-two-nine WFOG, the home of the hits with Ace and How Long. Good morning, I'm Karen West, and this is a. It's an unusual start to the day for listeners of WFOG's midday show with Karen West. This is a, a very special day for me this morning because I have my sister Jenny in the studio with me. Jenny Michek watches her sister publicize a painful ordeal. I'm a hundred percent match for my sister Jenny, so I will be leaving tomorrow um, for testing, and then next week we'll be gone for ten days. Uh, to give bone marrow stem cells. This is the latest chapter of a 10-year ordeal with cancer. It started in Jenny's breast. Now the cancer has spread to her bones and liver. Various chemotherapies have not worked. Jenny began investigating clinical trials. So then they said they had another trial. Uh, if you had a sibling that their bone marrow matched, you could get into that. I had surgery back in October, and she calls me up. She goes, you got to stay healthy. And I'm like, why? She goes, we're going to go stem cell, and we need stem cells from siblings. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm there. You know. Turned out Karen is a 100% match. She will donate her healthy stem cells to rebuild her sister's chemo-destroyed immune system. And if it works. Because it would recognize the um, cancer cells in the liver and in the bones as foreign. So it would attack those and kill those. And that's what we're hoping for. Karen is only 14 months older than Jenny. They were almost like twins growing up. Now Karen explains their upcoming journey to her loyal listeners. All right, they had several uh, callers wishing them good luck this afternoon. Now the trial is being done at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda. Both women will be there all this week. Then Karen will come back and then go back later in the month for additional treatment. We'll let you know in late March whether Jenny's body accepted her sister's stem cells. Cynthia Brooks, News Channel 3 Health.